Hi everybody, thank you for watching. So today I'm gonna to be doing a little bit of a scary makeup look for Halloween, which if you guys have been following me, you know I usually don't ever do scary, but I did buy this costume over a month ago and I figured why not try something a little bit different. So for today's look, I am doing my makeup as I normally would. So if you guys wanna see that in normal speed, I will link a video right above right now that you guys can go check it out. And as always, all of the products that I do use, I will list below for anyone interested. I wanted to keep it in like fast speed because it took me about four or five hours to film this whole look and if I kept it normal, Nobody wants to sit here and watch me for four hours. So I'm just blending out that nose contour. And one thing you'll see is with this look, I started out with less and I just kept adding more and more. Um, when you're using really dark colors, it's always good to you know start out with a little bit less and then add as you go instead of having to wash off something that you don't like. When I was filling in my eyebrows, I wanted to make them pretty close or closer to Kara's shape eyebrow instead of my own. So they ended up looking pretty much how I always do my brows, but it always helps when you have an inspiration photo in front of you. So I had one of her and her amazing bushy eyebrows, so I tried my best to get them looking similar. I'm going in with my shade and light palette and I am going to accentuate the contours of my face. I noticed she also has some shading like next to her mouth so I tried dragging the line from my cheekbones down to around my mouth as well. For this entire look I used the Anastasia Soft Glam palette. Mine fell and it's broken but I actually just ordered another one. But I am using the color Tempera all over my lid and then I'm going in with the color Noir and I'm going to be applying that with a pencil brush on the outer V of my eye. With a smaller blending brush and the color Cypress Umber, I'm going to start blending out any harsh lines so as I had mentioned before I am starting off with a little bit less and I just keep adding it as I go I'm then picking up the color rustic and I'm applying that right on my lid right in the middle to help blend the lighter white color in with the black Picking up the black shade, I'm applying that on my lower lash line as well, and I'm going to be connecting that to the outer V of my upper eyelid. For lashes, I'm using Iconic by House of Lashes, and I'm applying a white eyeliner in my tear duct to help make my eyes appear larger. So now I'm gonna start dragging in the Cypress Umber and I'm gonna drag that down around my eyes and down the sides of my nose. I'm first going in with this color and then I'm gonna pick up a black shade once I have placement correctly. I'm also dragging out my lower eyeshadow line as well.
And then I'm going in with that same eyeliner and I'm gonna start drawing random symbols on my forehead. She has three rows of random symbols. I'm then mixing the dark brown and black eyeshadow shade and I'm going to contour even further on my face. I'm then picking up a little bit more of the black and I'm going to further the shading a little bit more. So I applied a little bit of blush and I really didn't like how it looked so you could totally skip that step. I just wanted to see if I would like it or not. And then I'm going in with the same liner and I'm going to draw some more random symbols on my cheeks. For lip liner, I'm using BFF2 by ColourPop, and I'm just going to line my lips and fill them in with that same color. Going back to my big blending brush, I am grabbing the black and the brown. I'm going to apply some more shading on my chin and next to my mouth. I'm then highlighting my nose and under my brows because why not? What is a makeup look that I do without a nose highlight? I don't think I could actually do one without it. So I am then grabbing more of that black shade and a smaller brush and I'm going to blend all over my face to give it like a dirty look. So next I'm going to change. So the costume that I bought is so cute, I'm obsessed. But of course it's a little bit different than the movie. So I went to Michael's to try and get like some pieces that can be added onto it. So I was just sitting here and I, this choker came with it and there was no like ring and I know she had a big ring around her neck. So I bought this bracelet from Michael's and I have like this clear string and I attached it to the choker. So once I put the choker on, I know she has like a green beaded choker. I bought a bunch of beads but I don't think it's gonna work so I'm probably just gonna wear the choker as is and then I bought like a little necklace pendant for right here and it clipped right onto the bra which was cool because I know she has again the circle here a circle here so I have a lot of things that I bought um, this little headpiece came with the costume but I don't like it so I cut the piece off and I'm gonna probably just like glue this onto my head um but yeah I'm just trying to like brainstorm right now to try and figure out how I want to do this because I know I want to like paint my body and put on a bunch of tattoos so I'm gonna just start shading with the black on my body first I don't know if I need to take this top off I'm gonna try and do it around it I went to the Halloween store as well she has a similar tattoo on her stomach. I'm gonna do this one. Why would it go on smoothly? So of course I didn't do the tattoo right, so I'm just gonna draw in, make it look a little bit better, but. Then I am taking the Halloween paint and I'm gonna draw on some of the tattoos. So this ended up fading pretty quickly, so I later go in with that same eyeliner that I used for my face, and I went over the tattoos just to make them look a little bit darker. So I was originally just gonna like eyelash glue this onto my forehead, but I bought this string when I was at Michael's and I decided to string it through the pendant and apply it like a headband. So I'm just taking up half of my hair, that way I can cover the line. And honestly, with the tattoos on my forehead, you can't really even see and it looks like it's almost just placed onto my forehead. So next I'm gonna paint my hands black. I should have waited because I didn't put my contacts in, so after I finished my hands, I was like, oh great, now I have to touch my eyeballs. But I applied these zombie contacts, which these were honestly really cool and they did not hurt whatsoever. I feel like these contacts definitely made the entire look. So I also bought some chains from Michaels. I guess it's really just made for jewelry, but it's a long string of chains. So I wrapped that around my arm and tucked it into the armbands. And I also had an extra one just to hold because she was was holding them in the movie and that is the final result I hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching I was so into character that I forgot to do my outro so I love you guys so much and until my next video I'll see you guys next time